What's up, everybody? So today I'm gonna show you what I got from Goodwill. Here's the Goodwill bag and the Dollar General bag. I'll show you guys what's in there after when I open these ones first. So let's go ahead and take a look at these. There's a DVD. Next one I got here, I got really lucky, is I got an iCarly DVD. I didn't know I was going to find it, but I did. Here's the things if you guys want to read that. So we get some inside artwork. Here's this one. This two. And this three. Next up is Thor Ragnarok. Here's the front. The spine. The back. There's a disc. Next up we got is Spider-Man Homecoming. So here's the front. <clears throat> Spine. And the back. And here's the DVD with an insert. There's the DVD, the Spider-Man um, logo. Alright, so. I'll be back. I'm going to put these back in my Goodwill bag. Back in my Goodwill bag, real quick. To show you my next one. <clears throat> next ones are good. Our Dollar General. Actually, I don't have any more money. I spent all my money on these. Let's go ahead and take a look at them. <clears throat> so before I show you my new DVD, I got. I'm gonna show you this one first. Beetlejuice. I want to save the best for last, though. Here we got Beetlejuice. We're gonna go, you guys are gonna be surprised at the end of this video of what I got of what I got at Dollar General. You guys will be surprised. Alright, so then we're gonna go ahead and open this up. Um one sec guys. Garbage and <clears throat> so let's go ahead and open it up. Alright, inside we got a disc or DVD. This way. Beetlejuice. That's what I got. They did a Cinebox thing. If you guys play Cinebox, they did it in these gold guys. It's on YouTube. I'll make a link of it. I'll save it in my place so you guys can watch that. But I'm going to put that back in. I'm going to put that on top of the bag. Alright. Now, you guys are going to probably scream what I got. So, I got this thing early today. And it was a great thing. I thought I was never going to find this at Dollar General. And I did. Oops. Sorry, sorry, I don't want, I don't want to stop the recording, but yes, I found something really insane at Goodwill. I mean, not Goodwill, I mean Dollar General that will freak you guys out. So here it is. 
That is right, folks. This comes out Tuesday, okay? This legitly comes out Tuesday. And they had it at Dollar Freaking General. They had it at Dollar Freaking General. Oh my god. I'm so happy to have this early. I thought I was not going to get this early. I, I've been waiting so long for this thing. So basically, um, so basically, let me go ahead and talk about this, so. So as you guys may know, I saw this movie in theaters, and it was freaking awesome. Okay, hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. Okay, this, now, all you guys may know, um, all you guys may know. Let me go ahead and pull the film out. Everyone knows the most popular film that's on Netflix right now, and it's like the number one top number one movie in kids right now on Netflix. Everyone knows Sing 2, okay? Everyone knows Sing 2. Every, probably these two are probably one of my favorite Illumination films in a while. Why? Because I thought they were just better, okay? People are saying that this one right here is probably the best, but this one is more better than Sing 2, actually. This one... I mean, I know Sing 2 is like the most popular. These two are probably one of the most popular Illumination films of, of 2021 and 2022. Like, that was a big year for Illumination. Like, I didn't know how, like, they would even, like, able to, like, do something that would blow everyone's minds. But Sing 2 was actually a really great film. Like, they really... They really showed us proof in their 10 years. They showed us proof. But. <clears throat> but that's not the case. Because I'm. Because I'm a. Uh, Sing 2 is like. So good. Like the music. Everyone knows what Sing 2 is. Everyone has seen it in the world. Everyone sing, sing, has seen Sing 2. And everyone has seen Minions. Well. People who haven't seen Minions. Yet. Are. There's probably some people who haven't seen it yet, cause it just cause it's not out on DVD yet. But I mean, look, best animated feature of bet the best animated feature this year, and yes, it is the best animated feature of the year, of last year. It was it was a great film. Now Minions, I don't know what to say about Minions. It's like, do I hate Minions or do I like it? I have to say I like it. Okay, okay, so, everyone knows I now have all the Despicable Me movies that have been released, <clears throat> and the Minion ones, and all I gotta say is, probably one of my most top one favorite Minion movies is Rise of Gru, not even kidding on that, this, this like takes place in like the 70s, like, like it, it showed us a Jaws picture, so you, when you see Jaws, you know, Ooh, this movie takes place in the 1970s. That's really cool. I never knew that. That's why it's so good. It's 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 really great. It's a great, 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 great film. Sing 2. Sing 2. Do I hate Sing 2? No. I do not hate it. It's a good film. I like Sing 2. But. I just wanted to go ahead and explain that. For people who like, um are like big Illumination Minions and Scene 2 fans to those out there but <clears throat> like my I went to my theater to watch this and people were laughing cheering at the end of the film since it was like, it's awesome and people went to this film in suit and ties like yeah suit and ties like I was like wait what <clears throat> they were wearing their suit and ties which I thought, oh, that was that's really cool. I never knew that. So, enough talking about that. I don't want to make this video too long, but we're gonna go ahead and open this up. I hear has the disc in there. I wonder. Now I haven't seen any unboxings of this recently. I never seen any else do an unboxing of this. So, my first time unboxing this. So, I'm proud of myself. So, let's go ahead and open this up. So here is the front. Here is the spine. Minions Rise Gru. There's Auto. Races. There's the back. Too many movies. Boast. 
postmodern minions and minions and monsters. Very cool. Very cool indeed. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up. So yep. So we're gonna open this up. So let's go ahead and open this up. No, hold on a sec. I'm gonna, hold on, I gotta I gotta get my pink scissors out real quick. Oh. Oh come on. Can I got I'm gonna put the camera down and cut this open. One sec. Okay, <clears throat> so now we're gonna open this. So the 70 takes place in the 70s, that's really cool. It's not opening right. I want it to open from this side though. the garbage in there. There we go. Alright, so let's go ahead and open it up. Let's use the disc. It's yellow, which is actually really cool. Minions of the Rise of Guru. First time in my hands. Looks good. Brand new disc. I'm gonna put this back in the case. So yeah, there's my DVD update. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and that's all I have. That's all I have today for you all. If I can get this thing to go back in. Here we go. <laughs> Sorry guys, sorry about the, that. Um, I just got done eating, so I just got done eating. So yeah, I had some Burger King for lunch. Who doesn't love Burger King? Oh come on, who doesn't love Burger King? All right, this is everything I got today. So I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna stop talking and show you everything I got. Then I'm gonna end the video.